Madam Speaker, education is a pillar in this country, and for this country to prosper, education is very important. Secondly, Madam Speaker, security is vital to protect our people. And NGCDF is very critical for us to make education and security. Madam Speaker, I concur with my fellow honorable members as that NGCDF is very important to be dispersed through the honorable members of this house. Madam Speaker, there is a perception, especially from the county government, that uh, the members of the National Assembly don't utilize the funds in the right way. Madam Speaker, if you assess our constituencies, you will find that uh, most of the projects are done by the members of the National Assembly and not the county government. Madam Speaker, interference of uh, the NCDF means crippling development in the constituencies and also, Madam Speaker, it means bring down the central government. The funds from the uh, NCDF are from the central, uh, central government and uh, there is no relationship between the NCCDF and the funds in the central government. Madam Speaker, I support that uh, the act should be entrenched so that uh, we can have uh, the funds having disbursed or uh, having no more interference in the future. Madam Speaker, it is frustrating when the legal fraternity is interfering with the uh, NCCDF knowing very well that uh, the children of this country, the bright uh, students and also the disadvantaged students are highly supported by the NCDF. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Honorable Member from Better North. Madam Speaker. Then after that, it's you, Honorable Oundo. Madam Speaker, thank you. Uh, and CDF has played a very critical role when it comes to the marginalized areas, Madam Speaker. We have many, many constituencies, many areas in the Republic of Kenya which are extremely marginalized. Recently, Madam Speaker, I went to ensure a school which has mad world classrooms in my constituency last week to ensure we change the face of that school. And those photos, Madam Speaker, when I posted them on my social media, many Kenyans could not believe that we have such kind of schools in some of our constituencies. Without CDF, Madam Speaker, many children who are going through CBC curriculum will not be able to enjoy an environment where they can nurture their talent as far as, CD, as far as CBC curriculum is concerned. We don't only have such kind of primary schools at the moment in our constituencies in, in marginalized areas, but we need to change the face of such kind of schools. If we don't have CDM, Madam Speaker, most of our communities, most of the children of the very poor in marginalized areas will remain dis, uh, dis, uh, disadvantaged, will remain in big problems, and they will not be able to achieve what they are supposed to achieve because these are, in, in most of these marginalized areas, you find we have very bright kids, kids who can go even to orphans through scholarship if they go through the, the training process, the schooling process in the most appropriate way. Madam Speaker, I want to rebuke the judgment which was made by the three judges. It's high time this House come up with the uh, amendment of the Constitution so that we can enter in CDF in the Constitution so that kids, children of the very poor 
can also be have can also be able to enjoy uh, the education which other kings of the rich are enjoying. It can't be. It's only in academies where we have proper uh, running uh, atmosphere. Even in those areas, the kings of the very poor, they also deserve proper environment where they can nurture their talent, they can nurture their skills, and they can be children of the world. They can be able to work in every corner of our nation. Not only of our nation, but every corner of the world. Madam Speaker, I support the, uh, what the members have said, and we need to craft. The Honorable Member for Funyula, Honorable Oundo. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for this opportunity. Let me take this opportunity to sincerely thank.